Okay, the supplies you're going to need, of course, the vest, jacket, or whatever you're replacing snaps on, a drill with a drill bit that is just slightly bigger than the inside area of the snap, some rubber tape if it's a decorative snap to protect it, a rubber mallet, you'll need a punch set tool, the snaps, and a little anvil. The first thing you've got to do to replace the snap is to remove the old snap. Scott's going to use a drill bit that's just slightly bigger than the inside area of the snap. You can see that right in there. Doesn't take a long time. He's just going to drill away as the metal um, breaks, as the drill bit breaks the metal apart, it'll loosen it. That's all there is to it. You just remove the old snap, pull it out the back. As you can see, there's a hole there. We'll be able to use that hole to, for the new snap. That'll prevent us from having to punch through the leather, which can be difficult. All right, here we go. He's gonna go ahead and place this snap in, into there. The nipple goes through the hole. He's gonna make sure it's lined up so that the buffalo is facing the right direction. Place the tape over it. Again, that's going to protect his snap, and it's going to hold the snap in place. You lay it down against the anvil, and the anvil has a concave side, which kind of cradles the snap, keeps it from sliding, and offers a firm area to punch down on. Okay, he's going to place the other piece on top now, and that's sandwiched between the front and the back side of the jacket. You take your snap set tool, Place the nipple area down into the pin and you want to take a rubber mallet and it takes probably about 10 to 15 hits. You don't want to try to drive it through with the first one. You run the risk of bending the pin and causing damage to the button. Okay, he's going to check it and see. And as you can see, it's all smooth, it's been rounded out, and the button is firmly in place. Go ahead and remove the tape, check it, and the snap is nice and secure. The tape held it in place, and there is no damage to his snap. By replacing the snaps on this, it saved us from having to buy him a new vest. Most bikers, their vest is fairly important to them. It's full of patches that represent places they've gone and their own personality, things that we do. Um, so we didn't want to have to take off all the patches and replace it. Okay, now let's check and see how we did. Here's the snap we just replaced, and here's one that we have not replaced yet. Scott is able to take his finger, flick it off, and it takes no effort. Now the one we just replaced, as you can see, it doesn't come off easily. He has to actually forcefully pull it off, which is how it should be. There you go. Now you know how to replace the snaps on a leather vest or actually any type of garment. The procedure is exactly the same. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll go ahead and hit the subscribe button.